name's Andrew Cleary. I graduated in 92. I pledged 1990. We're like the missing link on campus. When I walked around the campus and saw that Greek life, we're missing. We need us. You need, you need that diversity. You need that fraternity. That uh, we're, We were the leaders to teach that to this campus. It's a 50-year tradition, and there's still guys coming here that are in their 50s, 60s, you know, that are they're still a part of this. I want to be 50 and 60 coming back here, you know, seeing uh, the younger generation. New Sigma Phi is a fraternity that was established here at Kane University in 1939. They are trying to reestablish their presence. Tonight, I am going to speak to some of the brothers that are here and find out why New Sigma Phi is so important to them. I want to know why New Sigma Phi is so important to you. I think you need to understand our history in order to understand the importance to people like me and those who joined the fraternity. We were founded in 1939 with a group of individuals who became frustrated in being excluded from other fraternities on campus based on race, uh, culture, uh, and even the curriculum they chose uh, here on campus. For me, it's about being part of an organization that is rich in both diversity and inclusion. It's something that has stayed with the fraternity ever since its exception. New Super Phi has always been important to me because when I first got to Kane University, actually Kane College back then, I was embraced by a bunch of individuals that said to you, you can be yourself. Whoever you are, we'll accept you, and, and, and you can live your fraternal life that way. And I really appreciated everything they did for you. New Super Phi is very important. It's still an integral part of my of my life now that I've graduated some 30 years almost since uh, since uh, attending here at Kane College. Uh, it's funny because I was kind of a reluctant pledge back in 1976 and uh, I, I became president of the fraternity the first year I pledged and I can say that to this day the uh, fraternity brothers that I have uh, for New Sigma Phi are still my best friends and uh, they have attended my wedding, they have attended my my kids' communion parties, my grandkids' communion parties now, and we're still very tight and we're still very close. They're the closest friends that I have now, and so still to this day. The fraternity was so different from every other fraternity on campus at the time I pledged, and I wanted to challenge myself, as, as most people do in college, and uh, it was the most rewarding experience of my life. It changed me, it made me more human. It's important in that, in my past, that uh, a lot of the my friends, that uh, were in the industrial arts department at the time. We were like one big class of, uh, we had a group of like 25 to 30, and we took all the classes together and stuff. And I bet about like half of them were in the fraternity. So we had a really, really nice time doing little events. And I remember the Greek sings, especially. I built the base of my college days, and, you know, meeting friends and, and transitioning from high school to college. And you know, most of my best friends today are those attorney brothers that I pledged with and got to know, you know as a member of New Sigma Phi. Three of my best friends uh, in the whole world I met through New Sigma Phi. So for me personally, um, you know, it brought people into my life that, that remain very close to me to this day. So and for my uh, personal sake, that's why New Sigma Phi is so important to me. Why does New Sigma Phi want to reestablish itself back on campus? Well, we'd like to give any student the opportunity who doesn't necessarily fit into the stereotype mainstream environment of the college, an avenue to be themselves, an avenue to grow, an avenue to reach out and have a lot of established people and a lot of established like contacts in the world in order to like really live the college experience. They're all individuals, they're all loved, they're all have a good time. We were surprised how much interest there was in New Sigma Phi. New Sigma Phi was a fraternity that began in 1939 as uh, the first non-sectarian fraternity in New Jersey and uh, we had a, an all-inclusive uh, philosophy and that seemed to really ring with a lot of the current students and it created a lot of interest. Nothing against the other fraternities but they all have a niche. Our brotherhood is unique in the fact that we are all individuals, a fraternity of individuals. And as different as we are, we respect each other and we can come together as a very tight unit. As a matter of fact, one of our brothers from 1964, he graduated this year. It's longer than I've been alive, you know? But that, that really makes a statement. And we, want, we feel that there's a place for that type of embracing of diversity and unity on this campus. And I think we have a lot to offer, our rich history and the fact that we have an alumni network to this day. I, I hear from my brothers at least once a week. 
it was about time to bring back a very different choice for students here on campus. So our message is one of diversity, it's a, one of inclusion, it's one of sustainability, and it's one of brotherhood because many of us have all stayed together all through the years and we believe we have a very rich story to tell on campus. I had a great time talking with the brothers of New Sigma Phi. I wish them the greatest luck reestablishing themselves back on campus. For KUTV, this is El Usfar. It's sort of like a phoenix rising out of the ashes, and we really liken ourselves to that. New Sigma Phi!